from abandoned ships to incredible mountains in the sky. These are 10 strange, mysterious places around the world. Number 10, Kaali, Estonia. This mystical formation on the island of Saramia, Estonia, was a mystery for hundreds of years. It wasn't until 1928 that it was conclusively proven that the nine small holes were indeed meteorite craters. The impact event is believed to have occurred around 1500 BC, and yes, the island was populated at the time. It must have been an insane experience for the local population. The energy released from the blast is comparable to the Hiroshima bomb at some 20 kilotons of TNT. Vegetation within a 4 mile radius was incinerated. Estimates for the time of impact vary wildly, from the aforementioned 3500 years ago to as much as 7000 years ago. Kali has prominence in mythology from Finland all the way down to Greece. People were mesmerized by the event, and through word of mouth, the island became known as the place where the sun went to rest. Oh yeah, there's also evidence of ritualistic sacrifice in the area since the site was considered to be sacred. Number 9. Catatumbo, Venezuela Where the river Catatumbo empties into Lake Maracaibo, a strange phenomenon occurs. For more than 260 days a year, 10 hours per day, there is a perpetual thunderstorm. For centuries, travelers around this area have called this event the Lighthouse of Maracaibo. And who can blame them? It really is the perfect storm because of the surrounding environment. The heat and moisture that is enclosed from three sides by mountain regions creates a massive thunderstorm that can have as much as 280 lightning strikes per hour. In 2010, the storm ceased from January to March and everyone freaked out since they thought the drought in the area had destroyed the magical thunderstorm for good. Luckily, everything's back to normal now. Number 8. Nazar, Portugal Nazar is a beautiful and famous coastal town of Portugal that attracts people from all over the world, primarily big wave surfers. And I mean big wave. The top three records for biggest waves ridden have occurred here. The giant waves are caused by the underwater in Nazar Canyon. Why you might ask? Science, that's why. The confirmed record-breaking wave that was surfed in 2011 was 78 feet high. That's pretty damn high. And the unconfirmed one was over 100 feet. It's not all fun and games though. A freak wave killed a 5-year-old girl and her granddad in 2012. There are many close calls by surfers every day and many have had to be rescued from the unstoppable force of the Atlantic Ocean. Number 7. St. Ignis Mystery Spot, Michigan Hey, here is a tourist trap in Michigan that is as tacky as it is strange. The story goes something like this. A few surveyors were checking out the area sometime in the 1950s. Everything was going well until they found themselves in a mysterious spot that affected all of their equipment. They felt uneasy and lighter than usual. Then I assume they ran home and told everyone that a forest witch attacked them. Nowadays, the mystery spot is advertised a bit too heavily for my taste. Everyone enjoys a bit of campy fun sometimes, so if I was in the area, I would definitely visit just to say that I did. Number 6. New Mount Carmel Center, Texas Ah, uh, this place is unsettling. Very, very unsettling. Mount Carmel was the compound of the infamous Branch Davidians cult, located in Waco, Texas. The Waco siege is one of the strangest parts of American history. In short, the ATF believed that the people in the compound possessed and traded illegal firearms. In a standoff that lasted 51 days and caused the life of 76 people, the federal government and local authorities shut the operation down. Timothy McVeigh, the man behind the OKC bombing in 1995, cited the Waco siege and the Ruby Ridge siege as his main motivation for blowing up the Alfred P. Mara federal building. These are some of the remains from the compound. Primarily, we're looking at the pool the Branch Davidians used. No buildings in the area survived. Number 5. Ropoto, Greece. When it rains, it pours. This is especially true in the ghost town of Ropoto, Greece. Before 2012, around 300 people called this place home. But after the April 12, 2012 landslide, 
they all had to evacuate. The village and all its history will be completely lost sooner rather than later. There is no signs of recovery and the landslides will not stop. Perhaps the eeriest of all is the old church that is slowly but surely sliding down the hill. Eventually, the building will lose its structural integrity and collapse. The local government hasn't done much to help the people that used to live here. The whole town is off limits, but at the same time, some folks are still required to pay property taxes on these crumbling homes. That's gotta suck. Number 4. Kampung of Colors, Indonesia Kampung Palangi, Kampung meaning village, is amazing and uplifting and wholesome and very, very colorful. What used to be dilapidated, depressing small villages are now transformed into something beautiful for the small sum of 22 grand, give or take. What's even more incredible is that the Palangi is not the first or the only village in Indonesia to transform itself into something more than a slum. These villages are sure to raise your spirits if you're ever in the area. It makes for great Instagram posts as well. Number 3. Belafonte Nuclear Generating Station, Alabama What is so interesting about some plant in the middle of nowhere, Alabama? Well, what if I told you this place is abandoned? That it was never finished? That nothing of value has come from here? Named after the also abandoned nearby town of Belafonte, this nuclear power plant has been in the works since 1975. Right now, its status is described as suspended for 29 years and 7 months. Four billion dollars later, the site looks pretty much the same way it did back in 1988. The owners, Tennessee Valley Authority, I don't know why, don't ask me, decided the plant needed two more reactors, considering the work for the first two wasn't even finished. I'm not sure what TVA was thinking. That was back in 2005, mind you. From 2011 to 2015, there was some work being done at the plant, but by 2016, TVA decided they would not need such a large plant for the next 20 years. Remember that $4 billion that was sunk into the project? The auction for this property started at $36.4 million really makes you go, hmm. Number 2. Mount Roraima, Venezuela. Here is a place that is not only stunning, but geographically interesting as well. Mount Roraima serves as the triple border point between Brazil, Guyana, and Venezuela. Other people might recognize it from the world-renowned, true story, hard-hitting drama, up. There's no easy way to get to the top. Most of the mountain is surrounded by steep cliff sides that makes for a very interesting experience. Well, I mean, actually, I guess there is a relatively easy way to climb up top from the Venezuelan side, but trust me, it still sucks. When it's cloudy, Mount Roraima can be compared to an island in the sky. Number 1. Skeleton Coast, Namibia I know this video has been a bit out there with the content, we have explored some very different places, but this one, this one is very unique. The northern Namibian coast is known under many different names. Portuguese explorers called it the Gates of Hell. Local tribes named it the land God made in anger. The one that stuck out the most was the Skeleton Coast, coined by the writer John Henry Marsh from a book he wrote by the same name. From derelict buildings, hundreds of shipwrecks, and thousands of whale and seal bones, the Skeleton Coast lives up to its name. The farther mainland you go, the more you realize that you're surrounded by nothing but desert. Nowadays, most of the coastline is protected land known as the Skeleton Coast National Park. Most of it is only accessible by plane, and only the southern part is open to four-wheel drive vehicles. In other words, if you find yourself here alone, good luck. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.